now for something completely different. No, it's not that different. Anyway, Russell Brand. <laughs> yeah, kidding, man. This guy. <gasps> oh, he's so pretty. Um, anyway. Yeah, so. Clichés to come. Probably have to take this in bits because, you know, how much of this can you take? But, I mean, just right away. It's a Pope. He's got the Pope tattooed on his fucking arm. The Pope. <sighs> the Pope. <sighs> I mean, this is just such a, you know, the formula, right? Hey, wear a shirt with, like, holes in it and wrinkly and cruddy so you're, like, a real man. You know, real homeless man. Come from the cardboard and the aluminum to bring enlightenment to the world. You know, with beads and such. And hair gel. <laughs> yeah. Hair gel. Uh, I mean, it's just kind of, you know, well, you know, what are you going to say, right? I, I mean, do, yes, just play people. Um, hair gel and raggy shirt. Yeah. Okay. You're not playing any game. But even the tattoos are like faded tattoos. I don't know. What is that? <sighs> Send the message subliminably. Sub subliminably. Oh, well, anyway, two, three, almost three million views. I need to make one of these of me. Yes, compilation of cliches or something. You have somebody else act it instead. Anyway. I think that one's reality is a result of your intention and your attention. It's Bruce Spirit. It would be attention first. See, first you pay attention, then you do some logic, and then you have an intention. Yeah, so... Attention, intention. Kind of got it backwards. Oh, I guess we gotta get rid of this little boxy thing. Oh, we can do the sequel next. Oh, good. You know, sometimes the second movie is better, you know, like Terminator. Second movie, really good. Spiritual practice that I've recognized that my own impermanence, my own irrelevance, the fact that I'm just a person shuffling through life, I ain't really no different now from when I was a little kid. Uh, sounds like uh, spiritual practice is uh, I fuck some bitches. And <laughs> you get that feeling. Oh man, I need a I need a moment after pill. You know, where you just go unconscious for a while because shit, I don't know what I just did or why I just did or, or what I'm gonna do now. So I think it's probably a spiritual practice. Been there, done this. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I hope we don't have herpes, god damn it. And what I, all I want really is to not, I don't want that feeling in my stomach that people are being given, like, treated badly. <laughs> oh, he has feelings in his stomach. I have a feeling in my stomach. Yeah, this is like a movie with something like that. Yeah, something like that. I don't want a feeling that people are being exploited. People need to live spiritual lives, all of us. I'm a person, and it's good to have. <laughs> yeah, a really funny one. What is this shit about? hide my junk so you know I don't uh, waste it you know for free you gotta pay for that looks like it's wearing spandex too all right so I could probably go for doing some of that but anyway but green I don't know that's a lame color and hand gestures it's got all those figured out I'm framing the Russell frame the Russell so he's probably got some guy in the background who right <laughs> just taught him all these frame the Russell you know, then do, you know, iconism. Access the infinite consciousness. <laughs> he actually did it. That's pretty funny. Didn't he just do this? Uh, yeah. It's like a half Nixon. Yeah, so they probably have names for all those kind of tricks. Like a half Nixon, um, you know, uh, uh, Michael Jacksonite. That kind of, you know, do find yourself a, ooh, you know, and then grab your crotch. You know, but don't, you know, just do it subtly. So it's, it doesn't really remind you of the actual thing. It just has like a subtle connection to the icon. It's like the faded pope on your arm. It's like, like a real pope. Yeah. That is available to all people, but through the... It's kind of funny. He's showing him flashcards. <laughs> yeah, so I guess he's, you, you get to go on these shows. They show you flashcards and you, you, you know... You, oh! Uh, Five senses is delineated. Keeping a... Oh, okay. It's delineated. It's cut into pieces. I know chopped like carrots and then after that you trapped on a material plane we think reality oh trapped yeah we're not trapped no 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 there's a whole other plane 
you know, called, I don't know, go into space and get killed by dust. Plane to wear. What is with this fucking desk? I mean, it looks like it's made out of, like, styrofoam or something. But it has lights in it. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Modern-y, kind of. And you get to see our feet. It's really cool to see our chairs and our feet. ...is what we can apportion through the limited instruments of the senses, but reality is, of course, far beyond that. Spiritual data, we don't have the correct instruments... Ah, so, spiritual data, we don't have the instruments. Because God is really a squirrel, you see. So squirrels have the instruments, but we don't because God's really a squirrel. So, why would I want to contact the squirrel god? He's probably not going to like me. ...receive it, and we live primarily in the realm of the senses. <clears throat> Anything that we're describing... Well, uh, yeah, this is true. I mean, you know, theoretically, you just think of your brain <clears throat> as... I mean, it's a sixth sense in the sense it just takes what you have experienced and it just replays m versions of it. Um, insert joke here. You know, that kind of thing. But like I'm doing here. This is reality. And then I insert some jokes here. And uh, somehow it makes it a little better. Maybe. Science, we're describing through the prism of the five limited senses. Our eyes can only see... The yeah, you already said that part. ...between infrared light and ultraviolet light. There's light <gasps> bouncing around everywhere. Our ears can only hear... No, there really isn't. <laughs> you know, there's radio waves bouncing around everywhere, that's for sure. But yeah, there isn't that much of that other kind of light, actually. And you can't really see much with it either. See, the, the lower than infrared doesn't have much, you know, you, you don't get any um, detail. You know, you just get a bunch of blobby shit. It's like snakes, they say, you know, the you know they have the pit to see the inf infrared, and they're making it like they have, you know, they can see. They don't really see anything, they just see blob. You know, oh, there's a blob over there, I can't tell, you know. They have to wait till they get there to find out what kind of blob it is. In a tiny decibel range, can't hear the noise of a dog whistle, can't hear any high... Ah, oh, well, we're missing out, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, gee, there's so much information in that dog whistle. I, you know, I wouldn't know how I'd come home for dinner and such. A pitched frequency sounds. Isn't it likely, then, that there are other vibrations, frequencies, energies, consciousness moving through the universe? There's consciousness moving through. So consciousness is an energy, like a dog whistle sound moving through and I'm supposed to somehow do what with it? Maybe there's screams for help <laughs> yeah, coming from the universe and we can't hear them and we need to hear them and then we can go all the way across the universe to try to help and we'll show up four or five billion years too late. Nah, let's not do that. The universe of consciousness is an, uh, um, an amorphous an expanding entity. I think that we allow our consciousness to be prohibited by... Well, it's all purpley. I guess this is going to be the spiritual bit. Our senses, prescribed by our senses, living in the realm of these five apertures into our reality. But reality is limitless. Space is infinite. <laughs> Where'd you get that package of knowledge? The Pope, he told you that? Ah, oh, okay. I mean, you really don't have any evidence of any of that. We're not very permanent at all. Dinosaurs thought they were, right? They were walking around feeling all, hey, we're kicking ass, we kind of own this planet. Yep, planet dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Yep, yep, yep. Where are they now? What, did they all leave and go on a spiritual trip because they heard some noises? Hmm? Time eternal. Through yoga, one can temporarily... Ah, oh, there we go. Yoga's the answer. Yeah, well, it's a good idea. I mean, you know, you... Uh... Oh, I farted. Yeah, you have a fart and... Oh, yeah, I feel a little better. So, yeah, it's probably a good idea break the bonds that chain us to the mundane, the mondial, that which is of the earth. And we can temporarily... <laughs> yes, like the vagina. Yes, let's get free of that. I don't want any more of that earthly vagina. I want to get me some squirrel nookie.
Yeah, I just don't know how you do that. How do you taste the infinite? Let's go. You know, suckle on the infinite titty. And then we will, again, be looking for a day after fucking pill. Imagine how fat a woman would get if she had an infinite amount of time to eat an infinite amount of potato chips. <laughs> oh my. Uh, yeah. no, don't, don't imagine it. I just did. It was not good. Think about it, but we are just this sort of temporary blob of atoms, oh. you know, endowed with consciousness for the nearest moment in infinite space. Meditate right, it's really stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it really is fucking idiotic. We just keep playing the same game over and over and over and over again. Hoppy, scotchy. Uh-huh. I win. You can win next time. <laughs> yeah. I'll be the loser this time. You be the loser next time. Uh, yeah, fuck this. Meditation and yoga. These are fundamental parts of my life. I think it's difficult for me. Well, what, meditation, I think he said, yeah. But he's wearing skulls. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like a good idea. Skull worshiper. Nice, but maybe he's just being a pirate. I'm a pi oh, look, I should be in those pirate movies. I, ha I look all piratey and such. Religion being such a rough ride, the Pope resigning, bloody terrorism and nonsense. It's difficult to find an access to spirituality, but we are by our nature spiritual people. We don't have access to... <coughs> and yes, this, this hoofily doofily. <laughs> this, is all, this is all, this is definitely a, a woman thing. Yes, pocketbook and flowery, flowery, bye-bye, ribbon, ribbon. Yes, ribbon. There's always ribbons on boxes of chocolates. Ooh, uh, they're going to the pocketbook. Yeah, it is a pocketbook and tied to a ribbon. It's a subtle spiritual message. Bye-bye, more chuck chuck. Spirituality, we suffer as individuals, society suffers. We need to recognize at some point that within ourselves there's a... A lot of poo. You're, you're full of shit, fellow. Yes, I can see that. You need to yoga some of that out of yourself and whatnot. Because I think you're 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 reaching the, the limit line right there somewhere. You got very very nice teeth. Yes, I'm not very. You know, it's probably a spiritual thing. There's an infinite capacity for connection with all things. Well, I love the fact... With things. With, with the, the with the things. You know, he talks that like whatever they call that. It's probably a word for that crap English in, in Britain, you know, where you sound urban. You know. More colors, though. Yeah, see? See, I mean, he's, he's complaining, but look at all the spiritual colors everywhere. The, the poofy little flowers and the fruity fruits and such. It all seems very spiritual. La-di-da and such. You've described it as you have a daily access to unseen realms of power. Daily access to unseen realms of power. Not just me. Everyone has that. Uh, yes. Daily. There's all kinds of... <laughs> he looks like a guy from the movie, whatever that movie was, Benatar or something. <laughs> yeah, what was that movie with the Avatar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We gotta rename it. <sighs> Check there. Anyway, I think I'll be back. It can only take so much of this at a time, right? Yeah. Ah, I'm back. I was just looking. I mean, uh, you know, all these people must have been off this day. You know, they all must have been like on maternity leave or something. It's all kind of raggy. Ah, not very spiritual at all. I figured, figured I'd put on my power up glasses. Me, what I've discovered is that transcendental meditation is useful to me, not because of a unique set of circumstances, not because of my formerly secret brilliance, no, but because I am a human being. And it I don't know, and it uh, does you well to contemplate that. Oh, or it scares the fuck out of me when I do that, but whatever. I guess whatever works for you.
is applicable to all human ah. beings. And that's what's really good about... Oh, he is rather bold. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't... Okay, that's why he had the scarfy thing. Because, yeah, he was rather... <sighs> oh, I like that bitch in the red. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet her stockings are cinched up really tight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's how it looks. I mean, come on. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, uh, you know, this is pretty funny. And who are these? What is this? Just doing a talk at a banker's union. He looks kind of short anyway. That is literally everyone in this room is one. What I say is that we're basically all... Yes, is one. A <laughs> tight ass. Yes. Right, human beings. Whenever there's a disaster or an accident, people's impulse is to help one another. So I'm thinking... Oh, fuck you. They, they get... They, <laughs> there's a crowd. They show up and go, jump, jump. <laughs> yes, they're really trying to help. Oh, I need to be a hero. That's what they do. They show up in droves and go, oh, I need to be a hero. I'll wear a flag on my head and I'll go dig for bodies. And I can be a hero and I'll be on TV and there'll be a picture of me on Time Magazine all sweaty going, I rescued this dead guy's arm. And I'll be famous for it. Glory hunters. And then, after they were told, hey, you probably shouldn't be fucking with that big pile of steaming radiation then they get sick and they uh, whine and cry and bitch and moan oh i tried to save a bunch of dead arms for you people and now you won't yeah that's right i mean this this world is so stupid what the fuck is that woman what what is that bulges everywhere i mean excessive bulgery maybe this is the secret to success obscenely obsessive Excessive. We're vesti man today, so he's got his stylist back now, and he's you know properly showing cleavage. <laughs> oh, thank God, she's not. Oh, yeah, sorry, I just don't know what the fuck people do with that crap. There is too. There's too many potato chips. There's too many. Lots of things you can have. Way too many. Anyone that galvanizes people, brings people together, and points us to the better aspects of our nature and helps us to overcome What's our this? basic things like fear and desire. I think these people are worthy heroes, rather than the heroes that are nominated today, heroes that are low vibrational frequency. Uh, yeah, they're low low frequency heroes. Exactly. Be a be a spiritual hero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is he saying that we're supposed to do again? Oh, we're supposed to make everybody feel good. Oh, okay. Give them a... Give their little anals a little twitchy, twitchy. Yeah, make them feel good. Relax them. Relax the anus. It relaxes the body. I'm sure that's the true somewhere. See, that make us concentrate on daft stuff. So, like, like, they want you to be talking about Justin Bieber. They want you to be talking about... Uh, Justin Bieber, who doesn't have nearly as good a stylist as I got... And, uh, uh, you know, he's done, okay, did the porn thing, he does the music thing, he does, has talent and whatever, once in a while does this, you know, whatever. And uh, I'm so much more interesting and I, you know, have done so much more to tailor my whole, the personia, uh, personia, uh, and I have all these hand gestures. What has he got? I got so many more. Beba Smeba. That's working. They, want you, they, they know what you're talking about, fracking. They <laughs> yeah. want you talking about fracking. Yeah, they want you talking about fracking. Uh, well, yeah, and your solution is what? A sing-along? I mean, realistically. What uh, what kind of limo drives you home? Huh? You know, and again, when I drop, shut your fucking mouths and watch this shit, you fucking morons. And I'm no, because I've been part of the charade. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, uh, now that I got the money, I'm not giving it back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll look like I'm homeless, but uh, I ain't going to be homeless, fuckers. I ain't living in no fucking cardboard box with no fucking smelly cat. I'm awake now. I'm not to be on the superficial. That's the problem with current affairs. You, you forget about what's important. You allow the agenda to be decided by superficial information. Yeah, I know. But I know the important stuff isn't, you know. Really as important as you thought it was. 
Um, whatever that is. The important stuff is don't have kids. Right. Because they're disease carriers and they always somehow find a disease to get to be terminal of. They just die. It's like a, you, everybody knows not to get like a goldfish nowadays, right? Because oh man, it's just going to die. This is going to be very tragic. Larry, the goldfish. Swim, swim, glop, glop, upside down, sad. Yeah. What am I saying? What am I talking about? <laughs> she was like, I can't take any more. She was like, oh, oh maybe if I, if I pretend I'm combing my stylish hair, I can cover my ears and not listen to this tripe coming out of this sissy's mouth. Don't think about what I'm wearing. These things are dumb and superficial. And, like, and, I, and I don't think that we should be continuing to propagate the idea that famous people... Ah, propagate. That's it. We should not continue to propagate. You had it there. You just stopped right there. Yes. We should not continue to propagate because... Look at what a fake and phony and... You know, I'm looking for the squirrel guy for fuck's sake. I'm so hopeless. <clears throat> Even with fame and fortune, I still can't find any way to get through life without stimulating a fart. Well, imagine them special because it makes people feel that their lives ain't no good. Mm -hmm. I don't think we should be living yeah, in that. He's, he's doing that good at talk again. <laughs> yeah, he's just niggering up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, buds. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah, he's just being one of the fellas. Uh, I just, I hate that shit. It's like Obama, you know. Every now and then puts on his little reggae wig and, oh, I'm going to pretend I'm sort of a black man kind of uh, fearful paradigm is that. I'm a, like a, a vegetarian. I believe we're all equal. I, ain't gonna <laughs> like, I don't kill that. Like, say a fly comes in the house. I tolerate that little arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what? Watch him die. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, I don't want to kill him quickly and humanely. I want to watch him squirm around with mites eating his brain and spin around in circles and then finally go belly up and the little legs will go eh, 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 eh. That's so much better the natural way. Nature's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I just you know why why don't you why don't you just to be why don't you do the spiritually correct thing and and be fair to the argument and why don't you just put a little, little one of those boxes over here with the number of flies that die on planet Earth per hour. Can't save the flies, <laughs> you know. Then you get that spiritual wave message. The flies cannot be saved. We can't either. Everything on this planet is pretty much programmed to acquire disability and die. Everything. Because I feel like he's a fly, he's just on his journey here through life. When I'm <clears throat> his journey is no destinations, of course, because the destination is your arm falls off and somebody finds it in a rubble and then it's a hero and it's on Time magazine, but then his arm falls off and somebody finds it in the rubble and we we'll just keep doing it over and over and over again. It's very really quite. I have a migraine. You know, when I really think about this stuff, it hurts. <sighs> Soul pancake. Oh, that's deep. It's a padded room, I guess. It's talk show from a padded room. I uh, say the infinite creative force that brings into being uh, all phenomena and guides all life. <coughs> so can you yeah, and guides it how? Where's the guidance thing? That's the part I don't see anywhere around here. I'm not seeing any of these guide posty things. Nope. And the things that actually work, you sort of treat them, you sort of shirk them off as if, like, you know, as if you owe them money. Oh, you don't dear. Ooh, that's a little creepy. <laughs> Ooh, I can see your nutsack through your charts. Ooh, it's a little bit gross. He's doing, like, the girly thing here. Uh, but yeah, that really is like a Pope or something. This is kind of a scary whole thingy here. This is a little bit creepy, creepy. But look at that, he has the faked bleached holy pants. The holy pants. <laughs> yeah, that's there. That's really funny, the holy pants. Avoid yoga and 
meditation they've been portrayed quite brilliantly by the, the mainstream as sort of somehow luxury they isn't a luxury or artificial or superficial it's absolutely integral it's absolutely the most authentic thing more real than any of us <laughs> oh please it's more real than we are yoga I, I can't do anything with that okay I'll have to, yeah I'm done that's you know, what what this is the this is the thing that gets three billion views yoga is more real than we are it's like saying Legos is you know more substantial than the entire net worth of the human race it's so brilliant it's such a brilliant thing plastic bricks that stick to each other yes I'll be back. Yeah, back. Uh, holy man. Anyway, um, where were we? Well, somewhere around here, right? So let's see what it says. Yeah. Add some corn chips. I feel much better now. People are happy. They're happy. They don't need it. If, you, if there's not a problem, there's not a problem. But yeah. I think if people have some sort of yearning or dissatisfaction or some itchy irritability, then it might be because they're not looking in the right direction. For All right. Of course, they're not looking in the right direction. The other direction. The opposite direction of the thing that's giving them the creeps, I guess, right? Like life. There's all kinds of opposite directions. You know, life seems ludicrous and stupid. You could always... I mean, you have the alternative of, oh, that's right, death, hmm, yeah, I don't know, that doesn't look too good either, none of these choices, there's no, I should have better choices than this, that's not a valid complaint, I should have better choices than this. Solution and that they should look good. Wow, either. that was a good, woo, that was really, whoa, yeah, he's definitely gone both ways occasionally. Within them, there is a limitless, infinite capacity for bliss through connection to our things. You can define yourself in reference to other external coordinates. Uh. You must define yourself internally with your relationship with a higher entity. Think of it. Entity. Entity. The entity. Entity. I am what I am. Entity. <laughs> they should have wrote that in the Bible somewhere. The E. Yeah. An Eism. Yourself is a manifestation of some higher thing, some higher frequency. This is the visible. Oh, I'm just so sick of this frequency shit. I mean, it's just so done. Been there, done that, been there. I mean, what the fuck do people really think? I, I just don't understand that, you know, <laughs> there's, there's seen ripples in the pond. It's fast ripples, slow ripples. There's no. The old all frequencies suck. Realization, and you know that because you can't see atoms, can you? And you certainly can't see the forces that hold atoms together. There, in the well, you actually can. You just uh, look at the moon and say, "Oh, look at that." Micro quantum world, Richard, lie the answers to everything. We can't understand it. Without looking <laughs> right, that's where the answer is. I knew it. It had to be somewhere. It's hiding in the quantum pockets. The quantum's been gathering all the goodies, and it's got these full pockets. And he's probably wearing a little red hat with a little white poofy thing on it. Yes, goes ho, ho, ho. Yes, the Quantum Claws. Quantum Claws. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a song for that. Quantum Claws. Minds, but we feel it intuitively. Get yourself in alignment with that stuff and you uh, feel Yes, of course. I'm, you know, some days I'm like that myself. Oh, bulgy, bulgy. I'm all in alignment. The sun. The dead human. Ah, what do they call that? Some sort of jibber-jabber happening there. Stripes on top of stripes on top of stripes on top of waves on top of waves. You're interference pattering me. You're creating noise and interrupting my communing with the vibrations. You should know that, buddy. Yeah, that's sort of sacrilege. A bunch of waves. It's, it's like showing God's eternal anus on your jacket. It's, you know, it's just not appropriate. Ape has fulfilled its potential. The dead human ape has not evolved for the last ten thousand years. These are the achievements of the dead human ape. Now we must we must uh, transform, become enlightened, so that we can access the next realm of consciousness. Necessary. Yes, acquire purple eyes. That's our next the next big adventure. Let's all get purple eyes.
I think we elect to ignore the spiritual. Uh, you get a little tired today, right? <laughs> yeah, Bonnie the bimbo wore you down a little, didn't she, buddy? Um, for, and it causes a deficit for ourselves and for our culture yes. and for our planet. Yes. I think that we are too easy to identify ourselves as individuals. This, uh, that, that. He's wearing the same jacket again. Um, too easy to identify ourselves as individuals as opposed to what? A bunch of individuals in a sinking lifeboats. Cannibalizing. It's not a pretty thing. That idea is fortified daily through, as we said before, the stimulation of primal desires, that which anchor us to the self, and we ignore that we're here for such a short while that we're all basically... Well, it seems like an awful long time to me, but I guess it's all kind of some sort of relative thing. I mean, compared to that fly you rescued, <laughs> yeah, you gave him a, a few extra hours to spin around in circles. Um, yeah, we live pretty long. Same as one another. We're all connected to each other, and we have a collective responsibility. Well, it just isn't, you know. Yes, collective responsibility, yes, but all connected, kind of no, in any kind of realistic way. Seven billion, blah, blah, blah. We're connected in, like, somebody else's poo will show up in my front yard occasionally, but, you know. That's not the kind of connection you want to sit there and talk about. So that God is not something that's about thinking you're better than someone or a reason to have a war with someone. It's that within us, beneath, our, beneath and beyond our identity as human beings, driven by fear and desire, defined by the realm of the senses and the material self, which is transitory, there is a divine self. <laughs> Ooh, he's, he liked watching his own hands gestures. He's impressed by himself. But, you know, I, I like looking at my own penis, so... I got you know, it happens. Connected to all living things, but isn't part of an infinite source of creativity. You could probably describe that using quantum physics or science if you want. I choose to believe in God because I think what that is is the recognition that there is the... Oh, whatever. I don't believe you. How about that? I don't think that's a very sincere thing for a guru to say because I don't think you really do believe in any of that mumbo-jumbo. Find beauty in all of us, and if we prioritize that over our own selfish material needs, then we will naturally create a culture more in harmony with our planet and we'll have a chance. I think it's one of the great sadnesses of more modern life because of our disenfranchisement and disillusionment with religion that we don't have access to these ideas. And yoga and meditation for me is a way in the secular world of accessing very, very beautiful principles that will perhaps make us happier at a time when people feel disillusioned. Oh, I don't, exactly how does it do any of that stuff? What is, what is that? So you do some yoga and all of a sudden you're all sensitive with all the um, debauchery and smelliness in the real world, you know? You, what, you feel somebody's pain or something? Come on. You know, anybody you save is probably going to not be worth the trouble. Just the truth. I mean, it's like, you know, well, I mean, you know, what, what, there's no point making political analogies, but you're not going to, you know, you're not going to be able to build a, a, a civilization, a, a, a decent thing with a bunch of indecent people. So, just truth. Be concerned about the ecology, worried with, the, with politicians, don't trust what they're being told on television. I've got to let go of temporary. <laughs> it's kind of funny that the, the commercial there. advertisement pops up right then, right? Yeah, so this guy makes a video, blah, 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 it's supposed to be all spiritual, in the name of God. And puts a banner ad on it. Des desert religions is to encode us with the idea that individualism is more important than paganism. Ideologies that integrally relate us to the earth. Right, the earth again. We're back to the earth and the, what was the other thing you did? Um, but anyway, um, again, yeah, tie us to what? What is the earth? About the, the consumption, reproduction, a little bit of cannibalism. For the sake of an addiction. Addiction, addiction. You're just a drug addict. So that we know that we are integrally, indefatigably related to our environment and we live in the service of our environment. <clears throat> in the service of. It doesn't. Well, anyway. I, I mean, whatever principle it is, is the, this idea that you're somehow um, doing something spiritual by becoming another one of the little monsters predating the environment. Sorry, no sale. The self is a temporal illusion. 
I suppose the element of truth is oneness, that this is a temporary illusion that, uh, that we are uh, temporary. He's been drinking now. Uh, what, oh, look at this side. We have all kinds of little symbols. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't see them. Generally occupy these flesh puppies. We believe, believe so much in our identities. We believe in our individualism. And I talk as Holy as shit, that's that guy. That fucking obnoxious guy. <laughs> Whatever his name is. The, the YouTube obnoxious guy. What's his name? Lou Grant or something? What's his name? Fucking holy shit. Look at him, he's looking all... <sighs> this is really good for my stick, too, because like, I'm doing, I'm selling these water filters, and, uh, you know, uh, you, you gotta have these people that are, like, trying to do, like, uh, you don't hate capitalists, right? Yeah, you believe in God, so those are the two biggies. Uh, God, capitalism, and water. <laughs> Very sort of egotistical man, look at my hands. Infowars.com! Ah, this guy isn't part of that. He's propagandizing for bullshit. No, he's the real deal. Talking real shit about real shit. The waves and stuff. Get a wave, baby! Get a wave! Okay, something like that. Bracelets, look at these ridiculous boots. I'm a person who believes in the nature of my own individualism and my own identity. Hey, except I'm supposed to be part of the collective. I know. I just, I just I did a whole thing about how the individual is bullshit. But I know. I, but I am an individual, and I am better than you fuckers. And, and I got that in my own. You goddamn know it. I mean, I'm a lot more stylish. That's what those buttons are for. Style buttons. Anyway, my robes are. <laughs> yeah, I'm being defrocked by the. Squirrel God. <laughs> yeah, he's just saying, Quit mocking me, you little fucker! And he's gonna throw nuts at me next. Anyway, it's time for a break. It's a, we're almost three quarters of the way through this nonsense. Maybe I can remember that guy's name. Let's see, fat, smelly, and ugly. Mm. <clears throat> no, nothing. I'll try harder. I'll be back. 4,444 comments. <laughs> yeah, that, ooh, that's a spiritual number. Fody, 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 foa. <laughs> yeah. And God said, you know, anyway. Oh, I'll be back, sorry. I'm wearing my blue sweater. Because it's blue. Friendly and such. <laughs> anyway, it does make me all friendly and everything. I like Mr. Rogers. He was a guru, guru too, Mr. Rogers. I think he was like a sniper in the war, which is really creepy. Anyway, <clears throat> but it all makes sense in the end, right? Sniper, pedophile. Yes, that makes sense. On a deeper level, I recognize that all these things are transient, and what's really important and what's defining are the things that... Ah, right. Transient. Yes. You're going to get old and wrinkly, and your butt will smell. But you'll still have blue sweater. Blue sweater. I don't even know who this... Who, who is this guy, anyway? I mean, was he somebody? Did he, like... Was he a sing-songer, a dancer, or something? Or what, what, was, what was he? I don't know anything about this guy. <laughs> Why is he a guru now? How did he become a guru? We all share love, unity, togetherness. As long as we have... Yes, love. We all share these things in common with the hate and the despise. Yes, it's the love and the friendliness, and then there's the hate and the despise. Yes, that is somewhat contradictory, but yeah, it makes not much... Fun, fun. As long as you have a big enough house with bars in the windows, it's all okay. And guards and such. And people. People to shove the other people out of the way. <laughs> yes, you need people. Cultural narratives that eschew these ideas, that suppress these ideas in favor of uh, negative human traits, greed. He doesn't really say anything, does he? He really doesn't. Oh, he's got a little wrinkle on his armpit. Ooh, the wrinkles are coming. <gasps> Selfishness, lust, as long as these ideas are promoted. Ah! <laughs> What's that guy again? Whatever he is. <sighs> it's every word, you fuckers!
This is goddamn fucking Obama guy is gonna fucking goddamn do things like all the rest of the fucking scum and the fucking scum are coming! And they got your casket already made with your name on it! The fucking scum are coming and have it in the casket! I mean, the alternative is you can live your stupid fucking putrid life and pretend you're accomplishing something with your little fancy sideburns, haircuts and such, and this stuff around your ears and stuff so you can properly scratch your ears or something or whatever you're supposed to be. Oh, you can hear the frequency better if you have the oval around your ear thing happening. <laughs> what is that guy's name? Al Sharpton? Uh, something like that. We exist in opposition to one another and will be exploitable by corporations that prey. Oh, I just want to punch that fucker. If, oh, I just know how to, you know. <laughs> just have to hit him in the face. <laughs> yeah, he just would. Will you shut the fuck up? From these negative facets of humanity. The line between good and evil runs <laughs> not between. Good I, I mean, it's just this, you know, I mean, this guy can't have a. a little tiny bit of sincerity if he sits there and has a, a conversation with somebody as overtly insincere as whatever that guy's name is right i mean he's grotesquely insincere he's, he's just he's just selling paranoid people on paranoia i mean he's he's like a paranoia drug feeding it for money I mean, it's obvious this guy's a fake, too. So what am I even saying this shit for? What has he said so far? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Why is anybody talking to this asshole? <sighs> shit. Uh-oh. My computer broke. Cultures, religions, or creeds, but through every human heart. So I well, why did you bother with this new religion thing, then? Why do you have to say, why don't you just let go of the God thing? Why don't you just say, look, human beings, it's just causing a bunch of tension between us. Yeah, let's just get rid of this whole blah, 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 identify you by some stupid gaudy thing. Yes, let's let that go. Be rational. Be real. I recognize in myself the capacity for selfishness, for lustfulness, for uh, egotism. And because I recognize these qualities in myself, I would prefer a culture that didn't celebrate, exacerbate, stimulate the most negative aspects of our species, yeah. inculcate them, <sighs> reward them financially. Well, yeah, well, you're by definition doing that right now, fuckhead. And you're doing it on shows exploiting that very shit, you dumbass. That guy you just talked about to was doing exactly that, dumb fuck. So you're just playing it to your advantage. You're using them. This this typically as usually as everybody else is usually. Actually, so we get to a, a kind of a Sorry, I was supposed to do a blue stretcher video. Just calmer, more relaxed. Okay, Russell, come on, go ahead, let's hear it. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for it. Cause let me hear your spiel there, Russell. Come on. Give me your best shot cultural hysteria where we're destroying the planet the reality is there is one planet there is a certain amount of people on the planet there are a certain amount of resources on the planet none of them things are going to last forever so we need systems in well that's the whole problem right so all this planning isn't going to get you anywhere so stop having babies and they won't have to be the last people on earth and watch the whole thing blow up which will happen anyway you can't prevent it so why are you pretending it matters when the human race gets annihilated could it be now, or will it be then? What's the difference between now and then? Except one is a four-letter word and one is a three-letter word. Otherwise, there's no difference. So just pretend like, oh shit, game over. And um, do the appropriate thing, which is don't make any more creepy people. Who is this guy? No, oh, that was a mistake. I didn't do it. Somebody else did that. Where was I? It's a creepy guy somewhere, right? I was. I probably wasn't that far along. Yeah. Oh, the limo interview. I have to get that one. Let's see. I probably did this part right. We need systems that get the resources to the people while respecting no. the planet. Any system. 
we a kind of a cultural hysteria where we're destroying the planet. The reality is there is one planet. There yeah, is a certain amount of people again. on the planet. There are a certain amount of resources on the planet. Okay. None of them things are going to last forever. So we need systems in place that acknowledge the reality, not systems that benefit elites, but systems that acknowledge the Right, we need to shoot the fucking poor. That's what he's really saying. Yes, we need a system to annihilate the poor. <laughs> yeah, let's just bring back that whole concentration camp thing. Well, okay, it was probably a good idea after all. Reality. People need to have access to the resources. Can't lie to people so that people in power can continue to augment and grow their own uh, power and satisfaction while normal people are exploited. <laughs> We need systems that get the resources to the people while respecting the planet. Any system. Uh, yeah, whatever. Exactly. What's that? Okay, we need all this stuff, and you have the plan, which is what? I'll make somebody else do it because I don't want to do it. Too much work. Yeah. So yeah, as long as you don't have to do it. Yeah. Little short fingers. That's detrimental to the planet or detrimental to the people because it helps one or two bots. Fuck it off. We're allowed to do that, you know. We are, we are creatures on a planet. We are mammals. Look at the faces of the people that we've been asked to vote for as leaders. Look at them. Look at them. Feel it in your hearts. That ain't who's meant to be leading us. Uh, it's supposed to be that other guy. That Infoworks guy. He's got the real ticket, man. He's, he's selling lots of water purifiers and shit. And, uh, that's the guy. That's the guy you should be voting for. Infowar man. Infowar man. Vote for Infowar man. Is that how it works? Russell. Happiness cannot forever be sustained like some glistening bauble. It's a transitory thing like a butterfly alighting on Snow White's finger. Oh, gee, isn't that all fairy princessy? <laughs> yes, let's just talk about fairies some more. Butterflies and tinkerly bells. In that bit of Snow White. So, like, uh, you know, I'm happy mostly. I'm happy mostly when I'm being nice to other people. They're <laughs> You know, when they an an analyse the semantics consistently through mythology and theology of words like love and God, they find that the, the common theme, John, is union. Uh, <laughs> tumor. <laughs> yeah, love, God, tumor. Yes, that's all three of those in the same category for sure. Just want to be connected to something higher. That can be another person. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, just whatever. Stand on a stool, goddammit. Easier ways to get there than all this antics. Frequencing yourself and such. That could be God, that could be a relationship with nature, it could even be a relationship with West Ham United. Yeah, it could be a relationship with Buddy. <laughs> yeah, my buddy, my special buddy. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I think the important thing is to have this central tenet of your being love, compassion, and tolerance. Ah, tumors. Don't forget the tumors. Come on, be fair. The squirrel, squirrel god. Everyone knows that. You know, ah, everyone knew it. Then why are you saying it? God damn it! You're being redundant. Redundancy is waste. Don't you know that? It's save the planet. Quit wasting. The realization that this is only very. Oh, this is like an airplane or something, right? I don't know what the fuck this is. Temporary thing, but the only thing that matters to any of us is love. I mean, it's got to be an airplane or something. It's got a little window. It's a balloon. Maybe it's ballooning. Yes, maybe that's it. He's ballooning. Everything, but underscoring everything. Ah, it is a car. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. With a TV in the back and everything. Damn, I need one of those. Damn, 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 damn. Love. Yeah, if, it, if it's a biological anatomical human condition, the idea of acquisition and... So yeah, they're both wearing spandex and such. Yeah. We're doing the man-to-man -man thing. Well, sort of sissy to girly boy. <laughs> yeah, said the, yes, we're doing that sort of thing. Look, I'm eating trumpet cake and such. Of the species, he is the eating trumpet cake. They have a whole bunch of trumpet cake and little teapots and such. <laughs> oh my. Holy fucking English twatty. <laughs> I'm in <laughs> it is a teapot. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Whoa. Outed. And such. Great ape. Somewhere within that is that divine spark that philosophers have always espoused. Blah, 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 bl
All right, so the big finish coming, right? This is the big, the big finish clip. The three million view clip of clipperies. Dissolution of my idea of myself. Like, uh, I felt like separateness evaporated. I felt this tremendous sense of oneness. I find it, I'm quite an erratic thinker, quite an adrenalized uh, person. Uh, quite an asshole. Yeah, I just don't. So sorry, yes, I guess I'm just not fucking enlightened enough yet because I just don't do any of this oneness shit with the fucking goddamn universe. I don't feel it. I spread to my legs and say, uh, yeah, I don't feel anything. And like, but what, through meditation, I felt this absolute, this sort of beautiful serenity. And, uh, oh, whatever. I feel that every time I go to sleep and leave this mortal plane of fucking bullshit and instead play with cartoon characters. Yeah. Spongebob and such. Selfless connection. You know, my sort of uh, tendency towards selfishness, I felt like... Uh, I felt yeah, that's the funny thing, right? I mean, if I really think about it, I've had m more <laughs> richer relationships in terms of having any kind of spiritual connection to cartoon characters than human beings. It's true. I feel I know SpongeBob my whole life. If he was to show up, he'd say, Hey, Gary, it's me, Spongebob! <laughs> We'd know each other immediately. I'm sure. I felt that kind of exposed as a superficial and pointless perspective to have. I felt... Uh, oh, uh, gee, the music stopped. Oh, yeah, it's all kind of a downer now. Very relaxed sense of oneness. I felt like... Uh, I felt love. Oh, well, that's... Way to end. Love is the magical statement of enlightenment. Again, we're back to a four-letter word that doesn't mean anything. Great. Sell that.